eventually wanted to make a million dollars a year doing something he enjoyed. Uh, this man right here, Carlos Rodriguez, otherwise known as Ocelot Dallas fan, does just that. He makes about $950,000 annually doing something that most of you probably wouldn't expect. He's a professional gamer. So today I'm going to talk to you about competitive gaming. And uh, I really wanted to start off by saying I've been experiencing the, the rising trend of esports as a god for the last four years. I've uh, played many games, ranked and unranked. <laughs> I've uh, observed all the championships they, they've played, and I actually participated in some local tournaments and, you know, with a team of my own and played and won. And uh, so, to, to start off, I really just want to talk about competitive gaming in the form of team-based strategy games and speedruns. So, the first one is going to be League of Legends, that's your, your team-based strategy game. It's a standard five versus five players. You uh, have a team of five on each side, and the field is done up like this, half blue, half purple. So divided in half, you get one side of each based on wherever the computer side to spawn you at. And the objective is to destroy the towers of the enemy, and eventually the nexus. And as you can see, it's located in the enemy base, so it's kind of going to be an issue if you're just going to charge in there. So the game bases itself off of being strategy and the fact that there is a different role for every character. Every character has its own abilities and its own downfalls, just like chess would have. And uh, due to it being a 5 and 5 game, those roles really come to fruition by inner working with each other, interacting with each other. Okay. Um, so, a lot of you might think that's really simple. When you throw in a character pool of over 100, it starts to be a little bit more strategic because each character, once again, has its own role. Uh, so, a standard competition of the yearly type is a, it has a prize pool of $2,050,000. Now that's divided between five people, but that's still a large amount of money considering that's just one tournament. But uh, besides that, uh, we get to speedruns, my second idea here. Speedruns are a type of gaming that most of you have probably done already. Uh, the, the clear basic objective of a speedrun is just to get through it as quickly as possible. You pick any game you like, anything that you played from birth to death, essentially, and just film yourself playing it in your own natural environment. You can play it to, to <laughs> you can uh, play it to max ability, or you can play it just to get through as quickly as possible. Super Nintendo is the main platform for this type of thing, because the games were all designed to be arcade. Quick games, or uh, quick playthroughs, kids would play them multiple times, you had to buy a million games for the kids, and therefore you made a quick profit, and everybody enjoyed themselves. So, one of the more popular games in Super Nintendo and for speedruns is Mega Man X. Now, Mega Man X is a personal favorite of mine. I've probably played it, sadly enough, well over 60 times. Uh, but I started playing when I was 4 or 5, so that kind of makes sense. Um, Mega Man X is a basic running gun style game. You go from level to level, beating bosses, going left to right, and then shooting things, that's about it. Uh, but the point being is that Due to simplicity, the current record held by a, a doesn't have a real name, it's just a gamer tag, but um, the current record held is 31 minutes and 44 seconds. So as of right now, I'm within two minutes of that range, but I don't submit my scores at this point because it's kind of useless unless you're anywhere near it. So uh, basically, what I'm trying to tell you is speedrun is that they are the more easily accessible of the two types of comp competition style gaming. You can either go in with by people that you know very well, or maybe people you don't even know at all, and attempt to beat another team of five that will be people that know each other. Or you can be on your own and do speedruns where it's a less stressful environment. But uh, really, if there's anything I want to take away from here, is that pro players can come from anywhere. You can look to your left and your right and see there's a regular person, but any day the person, the uh, people, that person can emerge as a professional gamer just by trying it out. So, uh, Tom Landry, a professional athlete of the traditional sort, uh, once said, once said that winners never stop trying. That's all I got. <laughs>